up guys I'm the SS here and today it's West Brom away it's always a huge game West Brom away is obviously we beat them here at the Bet365 back in October possibly the best performance of the season with Nick Powell's solitary goal sealing the three points which did put us third obviously since then both sides have dropped down the league a little bit with pretty much nothing left to play for as we mentioned last week when we beat Sheffield United it's a good chance to blood some of the youngsters Again, I'd like to see maybe Tom Sparrow play. DeMarjo Wright Phillips deserves another game, I think, as well. Um, and Will Forrester, too. Joe Bursic, I would like to see returning goal. Although Bonham has kept back to black. Did keep back. Although Bonham kept back to black. Yeah. Although Bonham kept back to back clean sheets, I would like to see Bursic play because I, I ultimately think he is the future of the club. And I think it, a couple of games at the end of the season won't hurt whatsoever. So, um, yeah, not much in it today. Just hoping for a good atmosphere. We've sold out the away end. Um, so hopefully we'll make a good noise. But yeah, without further ado, let's get down to West Brom and hope for a three points because we always beat West Brom. Come on, Stoke. So team news is out, four changes from Reading in midweek. Forrester comes in, Smith comes back in, Vrancic and Fletcher come in too as well to replace a couple of players, Thompson and Sawyers in the midfield obviously who can't play due to injury and um, being against the parent club respectively. But hopefully we can win. Come on Stoke. Inside, couple of dummies, one for Baker on the edge of the box, who can have a pop himself. 
taking it around a little bit. He's going to work it back to uh, Harold and Bellis. He's going to knock it wide to timing first in. Timing side from Randy Mitchell. Stops it dead. He's going to get back to timing. Oh. Weak shot. Johnson claims easily. It was a really good move that one. Right. Looking in, looking for Andy Carroll. Good bit of Andy from Wilfors. Second appeal for Stoke. Common claims easily enough. Mistake from Harwood. Bellis allows Andy Carroll to pull the shot over by the bar. He's gone for the deep. Bottom played it short to Harwood. Bellis took well, too long with the ball. Kicks it out for Carroll. And straight over the bar. David Mowat to take in sweeping corner. Headed away by Smith. And the drums stopped because uh, nothing's happening for West Brom. Half time, 1 0 Stoke, I think, it's gone down as a Livermore own goal. In fact, the last thing I saw was Baker put the ball across. It was a bit of a almost scramble in the box. But no, I think we played exceptionally well in this first half. Allen's had a chance, Fletcher's had a chance. Timon's put some really good balls across the box. I think if we keep this up, we can definitely go on to win this. Forrester in his first start this season has dealt with the aerial threat of Andy Carroll really, really, really well. Harbour Bellis has been good, so has so everyone, to be honest. Everyone's had a brilliant game. I just hope we can keep this up into the second half. Come on, so. Yeah. 
Voice is com pretty much completely gone. What a performance. I thought at, at 2 1, we might go on to draw or lose, but then Baker pops up with that late, late winner. Then we go on the first start. Obviously, saw us into the break, and then we came out. We got another through um, Brown, really good header. West Brom got one back, and it sort of looked like history was going to repeat itself. We're going to go to up and draw, but luckily baker was there time and had a chance just before that but the most important thing was it went in and we won 3-1 fantastic game an even better atmosphere it's possibly one of the best away atmospheres i've seen um but yeah brilliant brilliant performance 10 out of 10 hopefully we can take that on to uh, bristol on friday and then blackburn away next week hope you have enjoyed i have enjoyed putting this one together it's going to be one of my favorites i think but uh, yeah hope you have enjoyed come on stoke